Hey guys, Heather from Hooked on Pickin. This is a supplier we have not shown you in a very long time. So we normally get things from the supplier and we usually just replenish the store. But this is our fun kind of like um, pocket knives. We get our fun Viking helmets, swords, all sorts of fun things from this supplier. Um, but mostly we get little knives that are collectible and very functional as well. And so um, we're going to go ahead and see what did Paul order. It's been a while since he ordered. So we're going to see what's in this very long box is usually something very interesting. And then we've got those, uh, these other ones as well. So we're going to unbox some pallets as well in the upcoming future. You probably saw those um, previewed for you guys on Tuesday. So if you haven't seen the Tuesday video, check it out. But let's see what's in these boxes. All right. I can't wait. So we're going to do the big long one first. This usually contains something like a sword, but they make tons of different kinds. So we have no idea what kind it is. Okay, we've got a catalog so we can order more. Ooh, it's got bunches of different things in it. What do I see? There's a dragon. It's a dragon. See? That looks awesome. Oh, I want to see what it looks like, though. Anything with dragons on it lately with swords has been going well. I think it's the Lord of the Rings and the, uh, oh, what's the other one? Game of Thrones. All the fantasy stuff like that has been going really well. Oh, man. Looks better than the box it comes in, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Does it stand up? It does. Ha, <laughs> that's cool. Should we look at the blade? Slick, huh? Look at that. It's got a chain, so you can like hang it if you wanted to. Like you could hang it on your wall. You could. Yep. Let's look at the actual. So all of these replica swords, just so you know, they don't come sharpened. Now, right. obviously, if you poke somebody with it, the tip of it is sharp. But this this one's not real, real sharp. It Even the sharp tip enough. of it, you'd have to. Yeah really take a run at it. It's this, almost like a paper... Oh, like a letter opener. Like a letter opener at that mm -hmm. point. Yep. But most people buy these to display them. Yeah. So they Or they'll go. use them for the cosplay and whatnot. Yeah. This is probably a sword that looks similar to something on Game of Thrones or... Um, some fantasy show. Some fantasy show. Yep. All right. Well, let's see what else is in here because we have lots of little boxes in here. So our plan is to go ahead and list a lot of these on hookedonpicking.com. So you can go ahead and get these here. Yep. These we've been sold out of for a little bit. These are ninja throwing stars. And they look exactly like that. They come with a little sheath. Mm -hmm. Can we go ahead and open it and show yeah, them? Yeah, you can try. Okay. You can be a ninja. So these ones are actually very sharp. So it comes in this little case. Mm-hmm. And they're individually wrapped right now. Yep. But so there's an example of one. Yeah. But they're super duper sharp. So if you get yourself a pallet or, you know, a tree or something like that. You can stick them into a board. Pretty oh, good. It actually unfolds. Look. So it's like a four piece. Mm hmm. So I just happen to pull out one. It's a nice set. And if you want to go up to a way more expensive set, you can. But I think we ours is like 10 bucks. Yeah. Get that back in there so I don't stab myself. So, I'm just hoping through the video that Heather doesn't cut herself today. Hmm. Please don't cut yourself, Heather. Okay. I'll try not to. I'm not convinced. <laughs> All right. Ninja stars. Well, they did cram a lot in this one. Yeah, they Probably did. because they needed the box to ship the sword yeah. in. Oops. This one. It's in a blue and yellow box. A little blue and yellow box. It says right edge, I think. That's the brand. Okay, what's this one? Oh, this one is That's a paring pretty. knife. Like a, it's a pruning knife? Fairy knife? Pruning knife. I not remember. I don't remember, but it's got this cool... I think it's a pruning knife. I'll let you hold it, yeah. I just love the handles on it. Uh, yeah, those are really pretty. I think we call this a pruning knife. Probably. It'll be under the knife section. Everything yep. will be find in, found in the knives category, even the sword. 
Um, now the sword. Sword probably won't. We'll probably just put in the case at the store because yep. those do not ship well. The boxes get destroyed, that kind of thing. Yep. And so by the time you actually pay for shipping, it's not worth it. Right. We don't have them very expensive either. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and look through. Well, I'm just going to get this one. I'm just going to go ahead and unload this long box because it's a little bit high up for me. And I think some of these boxes are, see, I think these might be the same knife. Yeah, if the numbers match. Mm -hmm. 211411, 211411, then EG could be Eagle on could that. Be. I'm guessing that's what that wouldn't be. But uh, we try to group them together. I think there's 6025. Yep. 6025. That little number there. Okay, one more box in here. Then I can move this big long box. I try to find American made, but it's it's difficult. This particular supplier has a lot made in India, made in Pakistan, uh, Pakistan made in, in China. Um, right. But uh, okay. there for the long time, we had a hard time getting any of them. Yeah. Go ahead and open this. Oh, these are the. This comes in a neat box. And I'll go ahead and open one. Because you have to see what this one looks like. Nice. And it's a foldable knife. So that one is actually sharp and it locks um, open. It's a nice cool little knife. It is a nice cool little knife. Some, a little bit more of a display knife, really. Most people aren't pulling that out of their pocket to do whittling no. or to cut a pear or apple or something yep. like that. That's usually, you know, sitting on your dresser. Yep, or in a display box. Mm -hmm. Kind of neat. All right. Excuse me, dragon sword. Move that down a little bit. Okay, this one. I think these are our box sets. Usually we get some really neat box ones. So this one is the same as the other box with the same code. And if you order from the store, this is how you'll receive it in mm -hmm. this brown box. So this one said, oh, it didn't have letters. I don't know which one this one is. This one is our deer hunter knife. It's now, pretty. if you look, it's got a white-tailed deer on it, and mm. when you do open it, it'll display really nicely, mm -hmm. partially open in the box. So, I think we sell these for ten. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, we try not to sell them very super expensive. Yep. Knives you can spend hundreds of dollars on knives if you really wanted to. Yep. Up. We try to pass our savings along to the customer. Now this one is probably an also a box knife, but a different style. And this one is probably an eagle one. So this is the EG. This yeah. is the EG. Is what I'm guessing. We'll see if I'm right. Yeah, this one's a little bit of a different style. Yeah, that, that's actually uh, Right Edge is a name brand. Yeah, it is. They're an American company, but I think they farm out a lot of the stuff to different countries. So this one has a different kind of box on it, and it's magnetized. So, well, yeah, it's magnetized right here, so it stays closed, but it also has a display. So these are gold in color. This one's the eagle knife, like I thought. That's a pretty knife. Yep, and that one will display closed. The other mm -hmm. box displays it open, and it has a cool, neat picture, mm -hmm. and just comes in this kind of, like, faux wood box. Yeah. So these ones, I believe, are 15. Yep. And like Heather said, if you go to hookedonpicking.com and go to the knife section, you'll find all, of, all of them there. Oh, this is our stainless steel pocket knife, basically. It's our so. multi-tool knife. Kind of like a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, pretty much that's what it is. 
It's called a multi-function yeah, knife, nice. but it's got all the bells and whistles of everything mm -hmm. on it. If you go camping a lot, they're nice to have, too. They are nice to have. So we, I think we also have a wood one. I don't know if it came in this order, but we're going to check. So this one was, let's say, stainless steel on it. All right, let's look at it and see what this one is. Oh, this one is a new knife that we just added to the collection. It's called a Barlow knife. You don't knife. have to open this one. Yeah. That's what the knife looks like right there. It's a Barlow knife. It's got the two blades on it. Black handle like that there. Really nice little knife. Nice box, I'll too. just open the boxes that don't really have a picture of the knife on it. That one you already opened. Oh, this one I already opened, yeah. These are big boxes. So tonight, you're watching this video on Thursday. Tonight, we're actually going to a Christmas party. Yeah. Yeah. With our if we don't get staff, snowed out. As long as we go, don't get snowed out. This is the survival knife. It looks exactly like that. Comes with a black sheath. The sheath is pictured here on the side. Um, does come with everything that you see in there. It comes. S seeing that there, you get the compass. That's in the handle. That's then, in this right part right here. Uh, so there's a compass. There's actually matches. There's some other things. Mm -hmm. That's uh, flint right there. The, yeah. The handle so it's got and i think it's even got a fishing line and a fishing yep. hook and band-aids all come in there yeah it doesn't show that on there but but right in the handle here it does it have a few matches and just everything else she said yep pretty neat and it's a 12 inch overall kind of looks like a rambo's knife it does look like rambo's knife all right and that's exactly what this one is too so we have two boxes so we have six, 12 total of these cool all right let's open one of these up so this this is all the same supplier so you're going to see all similar things but it's just neat to see the different kinds of stuff that we get. Wait a second. This is an 8 at 8 lots box. Is it really? Well, hey! Bonus. bonus! You get different stuff. All right, so 12 hats. Cool. I did not. I Because it came in the same shipment. Yeah. That's why it yep. kind of messed us up. What is this? Panasonic Super Heavy Duty Batteries. Double A batteries. A whole pack of double A batteries. Them? I literally just ordered double A batteries. Did you really? Yes. And now I don't need them. Oh, they come like that. Yeah. Perfect for the store. We've had yeah. a lot of people ask for double A batteries from the store. So we'll peg those in the store probably. Probably. Yeah. Could do that. We might be able to put some online yeah. too. But awesome and it's panasonic so yeah it's not, like, it's not, it's not, not like, a horrible brand it's not like amazon basics yeah <laughs> so there's another box all right what's this you guys get a bonus unboxing that's awesome we're gonna try to put some of these online what in the world is this this lip balm it's my little pony lip balm is that what it is yeah hold on there's one there you go my little pony lip balm there they are. I think we're going to add some frozen also. Yep. To the store. Lip balm. Panasonic AAA batteries. Are these in the small packs too? That's funny. We're in a box in a box. Box in a box. ones always good to have yes absolutely especially their little storefront these are other panasonic boxes what kind are these oh yeah somebody was telling me in our little town if you needed to get a battery there was almost no place to go find a battery Really? Not, Not like, even hey. Dollar General? Well, Dollar General had uh, only one kind of battery. Oh. At least in our little town. Well, perfect. I, I'm surprised Dollar General didn't have more. But then uh, uh, there's a little lumber company that has all of the batteries, but they, they're always closed yeah. at like 5 o'clock every day. I'm going to so, move these. Okay, so I these, thought, hey, we same. might get some of the battery market, Heather. The battery market. The big, big time battery market in our town. Okay. 
I'm just going to pull these out. Oh, wait, hold on. I must see what this is. Because it has a fun name on the side of the box. Squeezy poop. Wait, how is this in this box? Is this a, a Diamond Visions order? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Squeeze poop. I thought this was the 888 lots. No, this is Diamond Visions. Unicorn that poop. That is disgusting. Here I need some unicorn poop. Uh, apparently. All right, what's in here? Oh. Open that as crazy as possible. These are emoji light switches. Absolutely great. We just replenished a bunch more, and now we're going to put this box on there as well. Nice. That's awesome. What is this? Move this out of the way. Pry bar with rip chisel. So these are, how do you get them out of the foam? Pry them out of there. Do you? Well, they're curved at the bottom. How do you even legitimately get them out of the foam? There. They should probably. You just, you just pry them out. Like a pry bar? Yep. Thanks, Paul. You're welcome. Pry bar with rip chisel. Yeah. Cool. Handy little tool. It is a handy tool. All right, well, let's keep opening these boxes that were randomly in here. You saw the rest of the diamonds order uh, on box on Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, good. We needed more of these. I was hoping there were going to be more of these. Tea lights? Little tea lights. Nice. And are these tea lights? Nope, they are not. These are Super Mario. We have the socks, too. Yep. Boom. Nice. And what are these? These might go good uh, because of the new movie coming out. Yeah. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. We got another kind of Hello Kitty. Well, maybe this is the same Might kind. be the same kind. Yeah. Yep. And we got Princess one too. Yeah, these are all just Hello Kitty. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was a surprise. Good, because we needed some more of those things. All right. Now we're going to keep going on knives. <laughs> Knives, swords, and all sorts of fun. We got some more variety in this video. Nothing bad with variety. Oh, good. Pepper so spray? Pepper spray. We usually sell all this pretty quickly. Yes, we do. So it's a keychain for pepper spray. Mm -hmm. We have lots of that there. So we put those on hookedonpicking.com so you can order them off there. Box in a box. Box in a box. Oh, this is probably one of our other... Well, we did the Eagle. This one's a different one because it has a different code on it. Yep. D-E. What would be D-E? Here. Pretty. Yes. Pretty nice. Very pretty. Yeah, the gold ones we do 15. If it's in the uh, just straight wooden box, we do those for 10. Yeah. All right, so there's the deer ones. This one's DE. Yeah, this is the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's WF. Ooh. I bet this, uh, this knife is going to be big and bad. Are you making it funny? I am making it funny. It's so good. It smells Ridley funny, though. It's Ridley funny, yes. Yeah. Ridley. Ridley funny. <laughs>
Oh my! Ooh. What big eyes you have! It's the big bad wolf, my friend. The big bad wolf. There's actually two wolves there on that. You want me to pull the plastic off that one? Yeah, a little harder to see. Okay. It's the wolf pack. There we go. Cool. Nifty. It's very big and bad. Big and bad. Thousand dollar knife. Thousand dollars. Has to be something. Thousand dollars in this box. It's like the rule, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, this one, it's the same thing, wolf knife. Okay. Okay, what's in this little guy? Little baby box. It says there's 12 things in this box. It's tiny. I know what that is. Can't tell from the box, but I know what it is. It's a clever. So this one is our... Leaf knife. It's a leaf Silver knife. Leaf Look knife. at that. Isn't that cute? It is oiled. Look at that. Opens. Here, I'll open it. You want to open it? Yeah. Clever, huh? Now, this would be a good... Put it on your keychain. Looks mm -hmm. really cute and decorative. And then you decide to carve an apple. Yeah. You have a leaf. Oops. Silver leaf knife. Here's the old fashioned. That's what that looks like. It's got that got a pearl Kinda handle like a, look. Yeah, like a bone pearl handle look. Yeah. I like it. Oh, right. This one's cool. So the this Roman one actually dagger. comes with a stand. This one is specifically a letter opener. Mm -hmm. Has the domestic styling on the blade, um, but it does have a sheath with it, and then you just set it up on the, the little holder, and it looks like a legitimate Roman gladius, but it's a miniature version. Nice. So. Very cool. You getting a good picture on the side? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is really neat. Mm-hmm. So, Roman dagger. I think that's what this would be too. This is the same thing. What's in this one? Oh, we were totally sold out of these. Completely in the yep. store and online. Um, mainly because a lot of people come and buy these in our store because um, our mascot for the high school is the Warriors. And yep. So they buy that one. It is a neat knife, though. The feather that, knife. And that one does come in its own box, display box as well. Yep. Nice. Really nice, kind of the black velvet display box, mm -hmm. just like you've been seeing. So there's that one. And we have this one. This is our American flag handled knife. Comes with a uh... sweet. Yeah, we haven't been able to get that one in a long time no, too. No, we have not. Basically, our supplier just the majority of the knives were out of stock, and now he's finally been able to get things going. I'm sure he probably took a bath when it yeah. came to uh, Christmas time. But uh, we got them now. Wild deer hunter knife. That These one are, has a beautiful handle. Love the handle. I like that wood and rainbow look. That shimmer there, the, the green and blue. That's cool. I believe they call that the rainbow look there. And this one is just more of the American flag handle. Thing. Great. So, all right. Did, were you able to open this one? This one is the same as the oh, okay. Roman Dagger. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Awesome, Heather. Box. We're gonna be replenishing a lot of the knives yes, on the store. That'd be great. A lot of knives, a lot of toys got replenished. A lot of some household things. If you're looking for the kitchen copper knife, we have those. A ton of socks. Yes. If they aren't socks. sold out already, yeah. we'll blow through socks. Put some on the. I'm sure we put some on yesterday's fire sale, sale probably. Yep. Ooh, Holy lots buckets. of the same thing. All right. Well, these are cool. These are called push knives. Triangular push knives. Cool, huh? Same kind of handle, though. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm a sucker for that. Nice little box, too, for it. Yeah. 
Sometimes they're a boot knife. Yeah. Or sometimes referred to as bosom knives also. Depending on where you want to put the knife. This one will be our, one of our $10 box knives. You saw us mm -hmm. open one already. I'm trying to think of which one was the one. Deer knife, I think. This one's the black the bear. The black bear knife. Look at that. I think this is what got you interested in this yeah. company. You saw the black bear knife yeah. first. So this knife. Never mind you, Gatlinburg area. Yep. So, and that one comes in this nice wood box. Mm -hmm. Kind of a pine wood box. All right, so we got that one. Let's see, let's, see, let's see if it's the same code. Six zero zero six. Is it? Okay. Yep. Good. Glad you saw that on that side. Oh, our little arrow throwing knives. Yeah, we're running low on these two. Those come also with its its sheath. Mm -hmm. I think that's a little black leather sheath that comes with it. Yep. Fun and to goof around with. And it does have the little holes in it so that if you wanted to put any kind of paracord or something through that, you can. Yep. So that's what this, this box is as well. And then these boxes I'm unfamiliar with. These ones here. Let's change the packaging on one of our knives. I think you flip it, flip it. There you go. Okay, I see, thank you. Oh, yes, I forgot that we get these from this supplier. So he doesn't just do knives. These are our journals, our leather-bound journals. Isn't that awesome? So the paper is all, um, it looks like original parchment because it's, it's not even. Yeah. Cool, so, huh? And the texture is like Smells original. good, too. It does. And this is actual leather. So this is our uh, yeah. cross journal. So and then it has the it like cool this. lock to it. Yeah. So it goes like this. And then you can show them the, like, the binding Neat, and the huh? back and the stuff too. Very cool. Like an old journal. Yep. So we have the old cross journal. So we'll list those. We used to have them listed on the website. We just, they've been out of stock forever. Mm -hmm. So there's that one. I, don't know if it has a I was hoping to get those before Christmas. Yeah. Uh, I mean, technically I did, but not, not, not uh, soon enough. enough. Yeah. So we might be able to put a few of these out in the store, see if maybe, maybe somebody last minute Christmas gift would be sure. something clever for them. Okay. So but um, we have to sell them for a little bit more than, more than sometimes what I would like to. It's like yeah. a $20 journal. Is this one but I think it cost yeah, cost us over ten bucks just to get them. So. All right, then we have these. These I think are different. I think we only got two different kinds, didn't we? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. We got the cross one. What's this one? Oh, this is the other kind. This one is our tree of life. Yeah, I like that. So same exact style, just a different picture on the tree front. Tree of and life. A different picture on the back. It's cool, ain't it? Boy, that is neat. So we have the Tree of Life and the Cross Journal. You'll be able to find these in stationery. Yep. Yep. So we'll have them in the stationery section. Cool, Heather. And that's all that's left in here is just journals. So we'll get all those listed. You'll be able to snatch them up on hotelpicking.com right in the stationery section. Um, if you haven't checked our toys, check our toys because we have got a whole bunch replenished. So that's been really fun. Um, and I guess we'll see you for some more unboxings. Thanks so much for joining us. And of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are a true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.